in the meadow mm-hmm. and there's a creek mm-hmm. and it's like a little waterfall and very peaceful there mm-hmm. how does it feel in this place what's the temperature like it's not hot and not cold mm-hmm. it's just a perfect temperature mm-hmm. So I'd like to see if you can listen. Do you hear anything while you're in this place? What are the kinds of sounds that you can imagine would be in this place? Hmm. What would it sound like? I can just hear the wind in the trees. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And is this a strong breeze or is it a, a just a medium mm-hmm. breeze? Mm-hmm. And when you're in this place, do you feel that you have a body in this place? I don't think I have. Mm-hmm. Which means that you can now move very easily through this place. So I'd like for you to feel yourself floating up. And let's take a little journey through this place and see what we can explore here. So I'd like for you to tell me everything that you see as you begin to explore this beautiful place. Wow. High above the trees now. Mm-hmm. I can see a beautiful lake mm-hmm. on the other side tell me more and huge mountains wow it's so beautiful Mm -hmm. describe it it's got snow on the peaks Mm -hmm. and it's just picturesque it's just wow the caps the snow is just indescribable Mm -hmm. the sky is so blue but bluer than any blue I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. What else do you see there that's interesting? Hmm. What attracts you to this place? What's the most beautiful part about this whole scene? I don't see any people. Mm-hmm. It's just like nature Mm -hmm. living on its own Mm -hmm. so connect with nature i'd like for you to connect soul to soul with nature and tell me how that feels like as you connect your soul it feels warm feels loving Mm -hmm. it feels like i'm a part of it all but i part of the trees part of the air, even a part of the water. Mm -hmm. So if you were to describe yourself as your part of all of this, what do you imagine yourself to be? It feels like I'm that earth. Mm -hmm. It feels like I'm everything. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful feeling, isn't it? It is. Absorb it. Take it into every cell of your body, of what it feels like to be at one. It's so peaceful. Mm-hmm. It is so relaxing. It's such a joy to be there. Mm-hmm. I feel complete there. Mm-hmm. Absorb that feeling into your soul. Memorize it into your cells. This is who you are. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out what else we can explore in this place. Allow yourself now to continue drifting and floating 
and let's find another place and time that has impacted your life. Imagine yourself drifting through time and space. Mm. And tell me what appears to you now. Oh, I can see people. Mm -hmm. Describe these people for me. They're seem very destructive. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? There's wagons, and they're cutting trees down. Mm -hmm. And I'm not happy about it. Where do you feel that? In my being. Mm -hmm. They're like, they don't realize what they're doing. They're laughing and joking, and yet they're destroying me, mm -hmm. part of me. <coughs> I'm I just want them to feel what I feel. And not got a camp around the area <coughs> and they just what's in the camp it's just lots of tents where they sleep and there's horses pulling these wagons And they're just so sad that they're just cutting <laughs> and cutting. What are they cutting? The trees. Lots of trees. The whole forest, the whole side of that. <sighs> what happens next? Tell me more. Lost track. Keep going. going to create a storm. I don't know how, but I am. <coughs> what kind of storm? A rainstorm. I want these people to stop. I don't like them doing that to this place. So 
So how do you create the storm? I just will it. And it comes to be. <coughs> what happens to the people? They stop what they're doing. They're stopping. They're looking for cover. I don't want to hurt them. I just want them to stop. And they're stopping. Are they afraid? Yes, they are a little bit afraid. <coughs> so what mm. happens to the land once the rain comes? It starts to flood. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to hurt them. I just want to warn them. I just want them to stop. Because this place is just so beautiful. What is this place? It's <coughs> it's a Indian reservation. Mm. The Indians got chased out by these people. Mm-hmm. And we love them being there. Mm -hmm. Did you have a connection with these Indians? I think I did. Mm -hmm. Were they respectful to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. They used to dance. They used to hunt, but only take what they needed. Never more. If they killed the buffalo, they would use the fur to clothe themselves, the meat to eat, mm -hmm. the bones for their tools and their spears. Mm -hmm. So what about now? What's happening now? They've left. Mm -hmm. They're leaving. So what do you do now? I regrow everything. Mm -hmm. And heal the land. Well, it's like I'm a keeper of the land or a watcher. Mm -hmm. I protect. I protect the land. Do the Indians call you by name? Yes, they do. What do they call you? Gawaya. Mm hmm. Gawaya. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What does that mean? The one that gives us everything. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, what happens now? The Indians are coming back. Mm -hmm. But they don't. I'm not sure if it's safe, the white man. Doesn't like them, them being there. Mm -hmm. They want the wood, they want the logs, the trees for their greed. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I'm not happy about that. What do you do? I try not to do so much. I, I don't want to really hurt man mm -hmm. because I love love man living on me. And enjoying me, mm -hmm. but not all do. Some try to destroy me. In what way? They use the land and don't respect me. Mm -hmm. They take everything for granted. They don't understand. I know they don't realize what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene and let's now go to another important scene. Something that has a great impact on you. Mm. The white man's back. Oh, uh, it's what a lot of screaming. What happened? <coughs> Groups of soldiers. Are these white men soldiers? Yes, the ones that are back now. What's happening? They're killing all the Indians. They're destroying them. How is that making you feel? Oh. It's, it's not good. Mm -hmm. It's not good at all. Oh, no, it's not good. Tell me how the spirit of these Indians commingle with you. Do they work with you? Yes. They work with the land. Mm -hmm. They respect mm -hmm. the land. They sing and we enjoy, I enjoy their songs mm -hmm. and their dancing and their rain dances. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when they rain dance, I give them rain. Mm. <laughs> Is this an agreement that you have with them? Yes. Mm -hmm. What else do you give them when they ask? Whatever they need. Mm -hmm. We listen to their prayers. And we, because of their respect, it always used to be like that. Mm -hmm. Now you say we, are there many of you? Are you a collective being? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. It's like the wind, the snow, the rain. We all play our parts mm -hmm. in whatever we need to do. So what's happening now? Yeah. It's camp are destroyed, women and children, no, it's not good, it's 
not good at all. The soldiers are raping the wives of the, the Indians, mm -hmm. the ladies, the women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so do you make any decisions based on this? There's not much I can do now. Mm -hmm because it's all part of a plan. What is this plan? It's all an experience. Mm -hmm. Experience even for us. Observing mm -hmm. what we're seeing and experience for them what they are doing. Mm -hmm. It's an agreement. Who is this agreement with? Source, mm -hmm. Prime Creator. Now, has Source or Prime Creator agreed to have all of this destruction and death? Yes. For what purpose? For learning. Mm -hmm. It's like night and day, everything is a balance. Mm -hmm. Sick and healthy, and so on. Mm -hmm. It's all part of this learning agreement we've made for many lives. Mm -hmm. So we grow. Does the wind and the rain and all of your elements also grow? Yes. Mm -hmm. In what way do you grow? I grow in not reacting like I did when I was cutting the trees down. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm growing with what I see and what I go through. Mm -hmm. Do you become wiser? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's all a plan. Everything is already organized. Mm -hmm. And it has to go through that system, you could say. Mm -hmm. So let's close that scene and let's advance much further. And tell me what you're experiencing now. Coming to my end of my cycle. Mm -hmm. How long are your cycles? 28,000 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, 28,000 years. Mm -hmm. And what is a cycle when it ends? What does it consist of? Sometimes floods, mm -hmm. earthquakes, but mainly that's from the people, mm -hmm. the feelings. The feelings create the floods and earthquakes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's right. <coughs> Can you explain that a little bit further? Yes. When the collective, or you could say, if you have 10 people in a room or more, they all think the same way, they actually manifest that thought and that thought becomes a reality. Mm -hmm. It's all frequency, you see. So when you have a whole town thinking unjust or terrible things or they fear it's probably a better way of putting it mm -hmm. when people start fearing <coughs> and whatever they fear they manifest into reality it's all part of that frequency they tap into <coughs> and 
and that's what creates so many of these storms and <coughs> so do these storms have a life of their own they do they all evolve mm -hmm. can, a, can a storm be steered yes it can can you explain that the, they can be controlled Mm-hmm. They can be controlled. They've been controlled for a long time. Mm -hmm. It used to be natural. So how do the elements feel being controlled? They're not controlled? happy. Mm -hmm. They're not happy. <coughs> can the elements themselves fight against the steering of I can, mm -hmm. but I haven't, because Source hasn't permitted it yet. Hmm. There will be a time when big changes will come, mm -hmm. and things will not be controlled as they are now. Mm -hmm. Why has Source allowed it so far so people start connecting again mm -hmm. you need something bad to happen before anything good happens mm -hmm. people have become so complacent in their lives and not realizing that it's all about love because mm -hmm. we're all one. A lot of people don't understand that. Are we all one with the elements also? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're a part of everything. Mm -hmm. That's why your thoughts and the what you think changes everything in your life. Mm -hmm. So can you explain, for example, why it is that right now there are so many hurricanes, so many earthquakes? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening there? Yes, it's all a game. Mm -hmm. It's all a game. They're manipulating, they're experimenting. Yes, and it's all like a program. Mm -hmm. Have we agreed to this program? Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is the main purpose for all this main major destruction besides getting together? It's actually gone too far. Mm. The powers that be are supposed to give up. Mm -hmm. Because they're actually not from this planet. Can you tell me more about that? Well, people think that that this life on this planet has only been thousands of years, when in true fact it's been millions mm -hmm. and billions of years. And the people controlling it are actually not from this world. Hmm. Where are they from? They were, they came here long ago. Mm -hmm. And then there was a lot of, Earth is very sought after because all the extraterrestrials they come here and they 
take things which you can't get on other planets. Hmm. Like beetles even, for healing purposes. So we're a resource. Yes, Earth is, has everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was another Earth, much bigger than this Earth. It was a super Earth, and they destroyed it. When was this? Oh, this was a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. Maybe longer, no, actually. <coughs> thousands and thousands of years ago, mm -hmm. tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. They tried to control that earth as well. And they ended up, for this way, they ended up losing control there mm -hmm. from the light. And they were like spoiled little brats and they blew the planet up. Did that affect this earth at all? It did for a while. Mm -hmm. The weather was traumatic mm -hmm. on this planet because everything affects, we all affect each other. Mm -hmm even as a human race. Yeah. So what as human beings can we do to help this Earth so we don't have the destruction? We're the only ones. Uh, people are waiting for help, but they don't realize that they need to come together now. Mm -hmm. We are the ones, they are the ones. Mm -hmm. They can stop all of this. How can we stop it? If, if everyone starts waking up mm -hmm. and realizing that this life is just a control grid, they will wake up. Mm -hmm. A lot have woken up already. And once a person wakes up, how do they know they're awake? What happens to them? It's like the old it's like they die, the old them dies away. Mm -hmm. and there's a new beginning and a new life starting to grow inside them. Mm -hmm. And the way they used to think is not the same mm -hmm. anymore. Their old habits are not so interesting anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just the things that they used to like doing, they don't enjoy anymore. Is that what's happened to Paul? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he loves, he loves Mother Earth, but he doesn't feel like he belongs here. Mm -hmm. Why is that, that so many people feel the same as Paul? Because that's what's happening now, that's what this ascension is all about. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to me what ascension is? Can you Ooh. describe it for me? Plain and simply it is the awakening. It's like the Schumann's residence around the earth has changed. Mm -hmm. It used to be much lower and now it's getting higher and that's how the earth communicates with the people on this planet through the energy circling around the earth mm -hmm. and now that energy is expanding and a lot of people will not be able to handle the energies if they don't deal with their past issues mm -hmm. from children onwards yes if, yeah now this resonance does it resonance does it affect the way people feel physically yes yes it affects animals it affects everything mm -hmm. for example energy there are yes. some people who feel they cannot sleep anymore yes that's <coughs> that's what's that's, causing that that is the frequency because their bodies are changing mm -hmm. from carbon base to crystalline. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. But only the ones that are waking up and accepting it, the ones that don't, they will have very bad experiences mentally, emotionally. Mm -hmm. And if they don't learn to adapt to that frequency, There's other earths coming anyway for these people, so they can carry out their destruction or their or what they need to learn. So are these other earths, are these different realities? Yes. Mm -hmm. How yes. do we know which earth we're on? Do they all look the same? They all look very similar. Mm -hmm. Some of us, oh, this is an interesting subject. Mm -hmm. The only way I can explain is if this earth is not a real earth, it's more of a hologram. Hmm. Yes, it's more like a hologram, whether like an experimental earth. Mm -hmm. The one we're on right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like the moon. Mm -hmm. You know, the moon is not real. Mm -hmm. They've brought that moon here. Yes. But this one, you say, is just a hologram. Now, Paul tells me there are times he wakes up and he sees things. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> what does he yeah, see? He just doesn't. He just doesn't want to believe he's worthy of seeing these things. Mm-hmm. Is he seeing the Matrix? Yeah. He's seeing through dimensions. Mm-hmm. He's seeing because there's so many different realities in one dimension, even they're crossing over. Hmm. He's, um, he's, his third eye is opening. Mm hmm He doesn't really want to believe it deep inside because he doesn't feel like worthy. Mm-hmm. A lot of people suffer from that. So when the third eye opens, are you able to see the programming of the matrix? Yes. Mm. And that's why the powers of be don't want you to, they don't want them to see it. Mm -hmm. They don't want them to see it. Once you see this matrix, because Paul says that he sees, he was able to see even the, the code. Uh, yeah, he's streaming. getting downloads. Mm -hmm. we are, he's getting downloaded. His, what, what, these downloads will ah uh, he doesn't feel in himself what he really should do in this life and mm -hmm. the thing is he shouldn't have to do anything we've kept him hidden you could say mm -hmm. and when the time comes he's just going to be a power to reckon with mm -hmm. so what he what's what's his purpose in this life he's going to admit codes to other people. Ah. He's going to be like a beacon. And he's just... That's why we're preparing him. Mm -hmm. He doesn't realize why mm -hmm. certain things are speaking to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> it's quite funny actually watching him. Well, he says he's been working on himself spiritually for a while. He has, he has. Is he on the right path? He is. He is. He just needs to chill out. <coughs> In what way? Chill out and relax. He's a million miles an hour. Mm -hmm. The guy's crazy. He just doesn't stop. Um, he can't even sit and relax. He feels like he's always got to be doing something. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like a five-star restaurant. He's everything's so clean. He's always cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Mm -hmm. Everything is so pedantic, and he just needs to chill out, you know. Mm -hmm. So when he chills, what's going to happen? Ah, when he chills, he will wake up even more. He needs mm -hmm. to relax and not feel like he has to do everything, and 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 he can't even sit down for 15 minutes and relax his mind is 100 miles an hour mm -hmm. if he's able to just relax you'll be able to hear 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 
what's been programmed in him. Mm-hmm. Now, these things you say have been programmed in him. Are these good things or bad things? They're good things. Okay, so this is the downloads that he's receiving. Yes. And um, who who is downloading this into him at night? Source. It's hmm. all part of the plan. <laughs> okay. It's, it's... People don't realize Source is the one in control. Mm-hmm. So what do the codes actually mean? They're codes. These codes awaken a person to their their real state of mind or mm-hmm. being mm-hmm. and they're able to ah, we've got something for him to do but we're not gonna let you know about that yet. Mm-hmm. He has a place. He's always felt he had to do something and he's in his right. Mm-hmm. We're just keeping him aside till he's learns to chill and okay. relax. Mm-hmm. So he'll be useful for humanity at, at the right time. There's quite a few of these around. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of light workers and that have been protected by guardians and and um, yeah. Now he told me that when he saw one of the videos where the codes were yes. being changed. It affected him. It did affect him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was funny. He was shaking. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's he was, was he, in tears. Was he being activated? Yes, he was in tears after that happened. Mm-hmm. And he thought he was going crazy, and we just laughed about it because, yeah, he he just doesn't want to accept that he deserves. What's going on with him? Mm-hmm. So, can you tell him a little bit about these visions that he wakes up with? Yeah. What are these visions? Ah, look, these visions. These are like, you could say, guides. Mm-hmm. And they're just watching him, making sure he's all right. Mm-hmm. Like the Aboriginal man? Yes. Who is this Aboriginal he's, man? That Aboriginal man is like one of his guides, mm-hmm. like you could say, protecting him, mm-hmm. watching over him, because there have been entities trying to attack him in the past. Mm-hmm. What about the children that he sees observing him? What are these children? Are they, are they his? No, they're not his children. They're actually other Guides, we put them in children form so they don't frighten him. Uh-huh. <laughs> because, you know, if you could <laughs> see the real form of some, you probably would get a bit of a shock. And children seem to calm. Mm-hmm. You know, they're all saying things and not what they seem. Mm-hmm. Don't judge a book by its cover. But why the big round eyes? Just. The eyes are the center of the soul, Mm -hmm. and the eyes, the bigger the eyes, the more bigger the soul, you could say. Okay. These are soul beings. Just just to calm him? Just to calm him, observe him, (laughs) see if he's okay. But he he woke up and saw them, which which actually surprised surprised them, actually. Mm Mm-hmm. Are they there all the time? They're there, but he, that's the first time he saw it. Mm-hmm. They're around him. He can feel them around him. Are these his own personal guides? Yes, they are. How many of these guides does he have? Well, he has Arch- Archangel Michael mm-hmm. around him. Mm-hmm. He actually has a lot of the team. He has Gabriel. Mm-hmm. He talks to him a lot. We they they hear him. He always asks protection, especially at night. Mm-hmm. He seems to ask protection, and they're all around him: Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, mm-hmm. Metatron, mm-hmm. and um, yeah. Good. 
I'd like to have Raphael throw some healing on my chest right now, <laughs> since uh, the phlegm is not doing its number on me. So what about this hand that came through the, the wall? Will you explain that? Why a champagne glass coming through the wall? Well, it's, it was basically, he was down for a while, so we thought we'd cheer him up, but he's got some good things coming his way. Mm -hmm. He's um, financially, to us, a champagne glass symbolizes a celebration. Okay. Basically, he's wanted things, he's asked for them for a long time. Mm -hmm. hasn't been getting them, and he was quite down about it for quite a while. And, um, but we didn't give it to him because we thought if he got the money that he wanted, he might go back to his old patterns. Mm, he might buy another car? Uh, the cars, he seems to be, <coughs> there's a fascination for the older cars, but... Mm -hmm. But he doesn't realize he, d he deserves them. He, it makes him happy, and, and it's probably one of the most things that actually makes him happy. Mm -hmm. He has a con connection with these classic cars and makes him feel good. He's not a show-off. He just enjoys them. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell people who enjoy things that cost money? Is this a bad thing? Look, this life is an experience, and... I would say if you have a, lot, have a lot of money and you give and you're a good person and you do give to other people and help, that's a good thing mm -hmm. because in this 3D reality you need these, you need money. It's, it's part of the experience mm -hmm. but not excessive. Being excessive and it's a bit out of control Yes, and, and that's not good because people are losing their identity through money. Mm -hmm. Money is not the evil, it's the people that control the money. Mm -hmm. They're the evil ones. Mm -hmm. The whole money system, the whole fraudulent activities, enslaving man mm -hmm. on this earth, it's all controlled mm -hmm. by the same bloodlines. Yes. <laughs> but Paul isn't going to have problems with the money. No. Okay. He doesn't realize. He's always had a feeling. And he's, he gives up sometimes and then says, Oh, well, he doesn't need money. What's the, but he, he wants to help people with this money. Mm -hmm. That's his, he wants to help. <coughs> his heart is opening. <coughs> it's been closed for a very long time. We're trying to open his heart. Mm hmm and allow him to be the real him. Okay. Not that the person he always has been, but he's closed his heart for a long time. What caused him to close that heart? Growing up, mm -hmm. his father was very hard on him. Mm -hmm. He used to embarrass him, tell him he was worthless, not worth anything. Mm -hmm. And um, Wasn't that true of many boys? Yes, yes. His father was extra strict on him, and mm -hmm. he, saw, he didn't see any love in his life. He didn't see his mother and father holding hands. He didn't see joy, mm -hmm. you know, maybe for five minutes, and then things would change again. Yes. But we were there with him, mm -hmm. uh, watching over him. Yeah. It was part of, it was part of his, his lesson. Yes. Because it could have turned backfired. He could have been a drug addict. He could have been a, a drunk. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. He did pretty good. He did pretty good mm -hmm. through the um, tribulations he went through. Mm -hmm. He was able to come out on top, and we've tested him quite a few times. Why do you keep testing him? Because... We want to see if he's strong enough to take on the responsibilities mm. that are ahead of him. Mm. Can't let anyone. A lot of people get tested. Yes. And then and and they don't pass the test. Certain individuals are going to change this earth. Yes. And that's why the powers of be are searching for these people. 
They know. Mm-hmm. Would you tell me one more thing about these strange things that are occurring to him? He said that he had a quartz crystal on the side table of his bed. And when he woke up, there was a bright white light about two feet wide that came through the wall towards that crystal. Yeah, we were sending a healing. Mm. It was a healing ray coming to the crystals because lately he's been interested in quartz crystals Mm -hmm. and other crystals and he doesn't even know why. What's, What's about these crystals that's important? Ah, there, there. When they act, start activating, everything's going to change. <laughs> are they just quartz that are doing this, or all? No, crystals? there's quite a lot of crystals. Mm-hmm. Why would some pr- some person go towards one crystal? Because then... that's what they need mm, at that the, moment. The crystal chooses them. Ah, that's why sometimes when somebody will walk past something and they will look at it, and then they are think for a little while longer and then they won't buy it Mm -hmm. because they get confused in the headspace where they (coughs) think that first decision that first thought is the right one Mm -hmm. the one after that comes from your head okay the first one always comes from the heart okay so for example i'm wearing a bumblebee jasper right now which i felt i needed today yeah so for some reason we don't realize it. We, we think about things too much. And we make it complicated. Mm-hmm. The perfect scenario is you see a, a beggar on the side of the street. The first thought is, I'll give him $50. As you get closer, <coughs> it goes to 40 30 20 mm-hmm. The next minute, you give him $2. Right. It's that first thought. That first initial thought is always the right one. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Now, he asks about why he has secluded himself so much what's going on with him that he wants we're to building be him up mm. it's building him up see why well, he has no distractions see everyone distracts him okay and even the powers these these dark entities are mm-hmm. he's he feels sanctuary there when you feel good in a place yes it's 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 a positive thing mm-hmm. and um it's a place for him to <coughs> recalibrate, re, <coughs> rebuild his. It's a whole new him. We're growing a whole new him. A spiritual new, new yeah. Paul. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's always had it, but he just didn't realize it because the way he grew up was very. Yeah, I'm, it's just great where he is right now. Mm-hmm. That he came from there to where he is now. And the sleeping. He says he's never sleep much. And yeah, he wakes he feels, up constantly. He feels, he feels the, the, he feels us around him, I think. Hmm. He feels, he's very, <laughs> he's gifted that way where he can, it's like he's, he's waiting for something. He's, he's actually waiting. He knows that he's waiting for something, but he doesn't know what it is. Hmm. And I think he basically knows he's waking up. He's been like that for a while. But five to seven times a night? Yeah. Is he's, he getting he's, enough rest? Yeah, he needs more rest. Mm-hmm. And when I say rest, not just in the sleep state, in, in, the, in his whole activities, you know, mm-hmm. he should be in the ocean more. Okay. Um, but he does, he does ground and he does, the tree calls him all the time, but he's always too busy doing things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a tree across his... Uh, his house, which he which he hugs, which is mm-hmm. is, and that's because he doesn't realize it. But he was, he was part of that whole. Mm-hmm. He, he was, was part of that connected tree in the mm-hmm. forest. That's why he loves the outdoors so much. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't spend the, the amount of time that he should outdoors, even though he loves it. So he should spend more time. Yes, much mm-hmm. more, much more, especially at this time. Mm-hmm. It's very important for people to be grounded right now. Mm-hmm. And the only way you can be grounded is by by, by being out with Mother Nature, mm-hmm. going for walks. Okay. Taking you, your shoes off. I was going to ask, do you need to be barefooted? Yes, it's the only way you can connect. You cannot connect with shoes. Hmm. And the forces know about that. That's why everything is rubber. Ah. And everything is concrete it's like mm. the 
the, the cities, there's no earthing in these cities, and these controllers are able to control you mm. like, a, like, a, like a game. So for you to be grounded, you need to get into your backyard or get into some place where there's... Yes, even bury your feet into the dirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, hap what yeah. happens with, with all these little insects in the dirt, however? They, if, they, if you go there with a complete pure mind, they won't, they won't harm you at all. Okay. They won't harm you at all. It's just when we have fears, we manifest these okay. fears and these things happen. Good. So we should spend more time digging holes and burying our feet into it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. In the ocean. Mm -hmm. We are part of this earth. Mm -hmm. You know, we are part of this 3D reality. We, we have, you know, iron in us. There's iron in the ground. We have copper. We have... That's why we are a part of this and we need this earth. Mm -hmm. And they're just, you know, and the things they're doing to this earth, they just don't understand. But these are the... The powers that be, the bloodlines that are doing it. Yes. Yes. Um, and humanity is not aware to, of, of what's going on. Some are, quite a lot are, but a lot are still asleep. Now, the other day, Paul tells me that he saw a UFO. What was that all about? Yeah, we gave him that. He's, he's wanted to see a UFO for a long time. <laughs> Who was that? <coughs> That was the Galactic Federation of Light. Ah, the Galactic Federation of Light. Yes, yes, that's why the light was so amazing. You couldn't get over the light that came out of it. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Galactic Federation of Light? Yes. Who are they and why are they here? They're here. They're observing humanity. Uh -huh. Apparently, the powers that are in control are supposed to sign off and they haven't been and when i say sign off they've been controlling this earth this earth started as a as a an experiment mm -hmm. and um it got out of control to these powers that are controlling they're, they're the same blood they actually run the world mm -hmm. and they basically and this and we are watching and we have told them that they have to give up what they're doing mm -hmm. to humanity. Yes. They're poisoning the people, they're, they have their Luciferian cults, mm -hmm. and they're doing terrible things to children. There are a lot of deaths, but they live off that. They live off the louche. Mm -hmm. They live off the, the fear of the people. If the people would just stop fearing tomorrow, they would just disappear. Mm -hmm. But they live off that. That's why they create wars. But going back to your question, mm -hmm. um, the Galactic Federation is part of the... They're a federation. There are, there's quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. But the Galactic is the main, the main ones that are in control. Mm -hmm. um, you could say they're, they're the overlookers, the overseers yes. of, of reality. Mm. And um, they're, apparently we're going through the peace where the... The war at the moment is between the evil and the light, mm -hmm. the dark and the light. And apparently it was a mistake that happened a long time ago. And now they're trying to rectify that mistake where people live in peace and harmony. Once again, where there's just love, mm -hmm. freedom and light. So how does this Galactic Federation of Light, how does it affect humans? Do they do anything with humans? Yes, they, they do. They actually channel humans. Okay. There's quite a few humans that they do channel, and okay. they give them messages. Okay. Until we're ready, they will not materialize, but we need to ask for help. And more and more are asking uh -huh. them for help. Okay. And apparently, it's not going to be long now where we're going to have a total new reality, where the darkness <coughs> will finally be... The darkness has been around for... Has been ruling for many, many. Mm -hmm. Will the darkness go to the light? If they don't, they have a choice, mm -hmm. but they're not giving up. Okay. And if they don't, they'll be sent to the central sun where they have to relive their lives all over again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So, how does Paul, what does Paul have to do with the Galactic Federation of Light? 
He was one of them. Ah. In one life. Mm -hmm. And they know who he is. Mm -hmm. But he's got a job to do here now. Mm -hmm. And um, we just wanted to say hi because he's been anxious for a very long time. Okay. And um, we gave him the privilege of seeing us. Okay. Are you from the Galactic Federation of Light? The one I'm speaking with? Yes, I am. Okay. Good. Thank you. And do you consider yourself Paul's higher self, or are you a separate entity? A separate entity. You could okay. say I'm <coughs> watching him. Okay. Very See, good. we have a lot of watches. Mm -hmm. People don't realize. People think that it's, oh, yeah, I've got spirit guides, I've got this. But they don't realize how many watches there's. There's, oh, it's so vast. There's so many entities and so many energies and and you could say there's universes inside universes hmm. there's no end to it all there's no beginning there's no no end hmm. it's just ongoing so everyone is being watched everyone's being watched mm -hmm. i don't even want to think about how many are watching me oh there's a lot watching you Alva. <laughs> you have no idea well, you probably do i don't think i really want to know <laughs> <laughs> I'm being macromanaged by enough humans. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Alva, you're meant, you're waking up so many people, and it's not just that you're waking them. The ones that you do wake awaken others. Mm -hmm. It's like... Like dominoes? Yes, mm -hmm. it's like you're downloading information into them just by your presence. Mm. It's, yeah, you're doing a wonderful job. You're... Still got more to do yet. Oh my. But it's all helping you, Manny. That's part of your plan. Mm. I think I signed up for this. You did. Mm -hmm. I have a, a question. Are you able to answer his health questions? Sure. Mm -hmm. He tells me that he has spots that are appearing on his face. What are these spots? Yeah. He tries everything for those spots. Mm -hmm. He's tried coconut oil, he's tried this, he's tried that. What's causing them? It's because he's never felt comfortable in his skin. Mm. That's one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. But also, there's a lot of chemtrails and everything else that people are breathing in. Everyone's mm -hmm. getting allergies. and. Mm -hmm. um, but he's never felt really comfortable in his skin. He's never felt... But he's getting better. Mm -hmm. Now, lately, he's... God, before he was so shy and so... His father made him that way because mm -hmm. he never gave him any compliments. Mm -hmm. And he just felt like a nothing, you could say. Mm -hmm. So what about these spots? <coughs> we talked about the fact that sometimes he looks in the mirror and he looks young. Yeah. Sometimes he looks in the mirror and he looks old. Yeah. And we, we talked about that for a little bit. Yeah. What is it that both Paul and I do to well, when change our appearance? That's... Look, when you feel comfortable mm -hmm. or your frequency is running at that right amount, you could say, at that, mm -hmm. that right place. Yes. That's when you are your real self. Mm -hmm. But when you are a little stressed or a little bit offbeat, mm -hmm. that's when you look different again. Yes. It's all about frequency. People don't realize it. It's just frequency, nothing more, nothing less. So our appearance is basically frequency too. Is exactly. So these spots, they're part of his frequency too. Yes, he's mm -hmm. creating these spots. So the same way he creates them, he can eliminate them? Of course he can. Everything is a cure for everything. Mm -hmm. Alva, you know that. Mm -hmm. We just, it's just part of his, it's, it's part of his journey too, mm -hmm. to not forget about what you look like, mm -hmm. because it's what's inside that counts. Yes. It's a way for us to say, because... When he was growing up, he was a good-looking guy, mm -hmm. and um, he had a lot of chances and a lot of... And he, I think he based, because his father didn't give him a lot of love, mm -hmm. he never even thought he was good-looking until he got to the stage where women started fancying him, mm -hmm. and then he relied more on his looks. Mm -hmm. 
you see? Yes. To get him through things, and, and, but, in, but inside of him he felt very uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. So we just want him to realize that it's not about the outer, it's all the inner. Mm-hmm. The outer, that's why these changes occur. Mm-hmm. Because if we were young all our life, we'd be running amok. Mm-hmm. Think about it. Yes. You, you become wiser. Yes, yes. Well, he wants to know about his diet. He's been going on a kind of off on a different diet now. Look, he's, he's, he's on the right path because mm-hmm. his frequency will be better with the foods that he's eating now. Mm-hmm. And that's why he's awakening as well. Mm-hmm. Because they're... But... He shouldn't take, he's look, once every fortnight, he should just take it easy. Yeah. You know, it's like yin and yang. You know, he can you can't slack be... off a bit, but the trouble is he's a bit like a policeman. He watches everything he eats, and, mm-hmm. and if he does eat something bad, he feels guilty about it. And it's the guilt, which is another frequency, mm. which, which makes you, you manifest if you're about to eat something and you say, oh, I shouldn't eat that, it's so bad, what are you going to create? <coughs> mm-hmm. Bad. So, so for those people who are on a diet, just like Paul, who are not eating meat, they're not eating eggs, they're not eating dairy, and all of a sudden they have a craving yeah. for something that they would consider quote-unquote bad for yeah. their health. Yeah. Is it bad for their health? It isn't if they think it's bad. Okay. <laughs> so they can they can go ahead and... Look, once in a while, mm-hmm. you know, everything is a balance. Yes. People don't realize it is a balance. You know, if you go too much one way, you suffer another way. Mm-hmm. And it's all about keeping that balance. Mm-hmm. Well, I found that out because they slapped the real cold on me after not... Not uh, relaxing enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your frequencies. But, you know, but sometimes you even need a break. Oh, yeah. I noticed. <laughs> you know, because by doing this work, it's, 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 it's not easy because you're taking on everyone's frequencies. Mm-hmm. So, so you need a holiday, just a break from everything to recharge. Mm-hmm. And get my chest back working Yes. Again. Mm-hmm. Yes, you have a lot of phlegm. Yes. And a lot of, yeah. Yep. It's getting better. I will be working on you, Alva. Thank you very much. You need to get me on that plane healthy again. Yeah. So that little voice that he has in his head that's been telling him to do these fasts, fasting for seven days or longer. Yes. That's his higher self. Mm-hmm. He doesn't hear his higher self as much as he should, really. Mm-hmm. He gets these feelings and he thinks they're just feelings, mm-hmm. but they're really coming from his higher self. So what, what can you describe the difference between your ego and your higher self? Well, they, in, oh, they intermingle with each other. Mm-hmm. The ego is like, you could say, the, it's not the bad, but it is in a way. Mm-hmm. And then you have... Your true self, mm-hmm. which is the good. Mm-hmm. So there's a battle going on, just like this yin and yang. Yes. It's all a test. It's like if you can overcome the ego, mm-hmm. you're where you should be. But we all have a little bit of ego. Mm-hmm. And it's part of the 3D experience. But the ones that actually are able to defeat the ego, they're the ones that really get to that higher place, mm-hmm. spirituality-wise, anyway. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, fresh juices and smoothies, are they good for your diet? Or do you need do you need food to chew on? Look, that depends on the individual, mm-hmm. because we're all different. Yes. See, the good thing about juices is, is because your body... Digestion is one of the hardest things the body has to do. Mm-hmm. Like meat, for instance. It stays in your body for months and rots mm-hmm. and creates diseases because it becomes acidic. But juices is able... body's easy can... you know? Yes. It's easy to absorb. Uh, shakes are okay. Mm-hmm. Salads, 
he should be he's actually doing the right thing because it's actually going to heighten his spirituality okay and his thoughts you'll be able to connect more okay the reason why he hasn't been able to before because too much because he's you know he does love his sweets mm -hmm. and he hasn't eaten for a while because he's He's, his family used to eat a lot of European cakes and mm. all that sort of thing, but he was never really that unhealthy. It's just, yeah, we're fine-tuning him, you could say. Mm -hmm. He tells me that he finds it very hard to relax, and even when he does my meditation video... Yeah, he, he can't shut down. He can't shut down. It's the way he was programmed. What, as a, what happens? I think it's all got to do with his family. Hmm. They've been printed. He's never had a relaxed lifestyle. Okay. He worked his head off. He had to. He was afraid of his father. Mm -hmm. um, he just. <coughs> oh, look, his father really took it out of him. And I think he's still feeling the effects, even though he. He's trying hard. Yes. I mean, he's he's great with his father now. I mean, it could have turned the other way. It could have went the opposite way. Yes. But um, he just needs to probably listen to more of your meditations. Mm -hmm. Well, he says he disappears after he starts walking down the steps. Does he go somewhere? Yes, he does. He goes to that. We're trying to teach him to relax, mm -hmm. and this is a way to sort of... He takes everything so seriously. Mm -hmm. When he does something, I mean, it's a good thing. He really focuses on... If he does something, he does it all the way, mm -hmm. not halfway. Yes. But um, he needs to learn to basically not take life so seriously. Mm -hmm. I mean, do it everything as in fun Yes. and not so strict because he's getting that off his father because ah. his father was so strict with him that he's actually it's has seeded inside of him so do you think that this is why he went under hypnosis so well that he kind of yeah understood that this is going to be fun yeah yeah he was afraid at first that mm -hmm. No, he didn't want to disappoint you, mm -hmm. but that's what he's like. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like disappointing anyone. But he's starting to speak his truth now, which is good to see. Mm -hmm. He's not um, doing things to please people and keeping quiet. He's actually speaking, and that will actually make him grow spiritually as well, because he'll be speaking his truth. Mm -hmm. So that's, will be he be able to meditate better in the future? That's up to him. Okay. That's up to him because what he's doing right now is enough. Okay. He's actually praying. I mean, you don't need to... You can go for a walk on the beach and be meditating. Mm -hmm. It's Meditation is a state of mind. Yes. Meditation has been said in this world as, oh, you've got to meditate to become a guru. That's nonsense. You know? Mm -hmm. um, you do things to your neighbor, something nice. That's, that's a form of meditating because it makes you feel good. Do anything that, anything that makes you feel good mm -hmm. is a form of meditation. Giving someone a gift. Yes. Like someone next door neighbor hates you, give him a present. You watch him change his mind. Mm -hmm. But people's ego get in the way and they go, oh, no, I'm not giving it to him. He's a so-and-so. <laughs> <coughs> Very good. Very good. Now, he says that he has some issues with his body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why is he holding on to so much tension? That's yeah. all he's holding his whole childhood there. Mm -hmm. It's a space where he keeps... It's like a jewelry box. Is it? You know, like you keep things in there mm -hmm. and you keep things in there and it gets worse and worse <laughs> if you don't deal with it. It expands and mm -hmm. it, before you know it, that gets too full. That's what's happening to him. He needs to chill out more, <coughs> relax. <clears throat> so how can he release all of this? Can we do that today? Of course we can. Mm -hmm. So would you allow me to release some of this today? 
Yes. All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest. And I want you to go ahead and go through all of these little jewelry boxes that you have, where you're holding all of these treasures of all of these things that you've been holding on for so many years. All of those, those negative words, all of those pain, all of those feelings, not feeling good enough, not being enough. I want you to pull all those out. We don't need to have those little boxes full anymore. There's no reason why we need these souvenirs. Give them all to me. Yeah. Now let's take them and send them to the universe for healing. What would you like to fill those little jewelry boxes with now? With love. All right, so allow me to f put in a fire hose of love, having them go through every cell of your body, through your DNA. Begin filling those spaces with love. Release all of that tension and allow that love to fill your muscles, fill your cells, your organs, knowing that with love, everything can be accomplished. And I'm going to touch your forehead and seal that in. So can you tell me how that is now affecting his body? Yeah, mm -hmm. he's calm now. Very good. So I'd also like to ask for Archangel Raphael to begin filling his body with his healing light so that he doesn't have to fill those boxes any longer. And when he's tempted to fill them again with these memories of things that hurt him, let's put on some Vaseline on those boxes so that nothing will stick. Allow them to be a little slippery. So when he decides to carry something on his back, not feeling supported, Allow them to just slip right off. He doesn't need to carry anybody's load any longer. <clears throat> How does that look now? Mm, looks good. Very good. Very good. He says that his parents worked very hard all their lives. Yes. Built a very successful business. Oh, yeah. And then lost everything yes why is that why do we have to go through that it's all a learning mm -hmm. it was a contract made mm -hmm. because his father was so hell-bent on money mm -hmm. everything was about money mm -hmm. i mean he was very tight with his money mm -hmm. but um we needed him to learn. We needed him to learn that there's more about life than just money. Mm -hmm. Because he's got lessons he needs to learn. Mm -hmm. And the only way we could get to him is by them losing everything. Mm -hmm. Think about it. It's all part of the game. Mm -hmm. And he's, he tells me, Paul tells me that he... He enjoys giving but not receiving. Is this part of this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That comes from because he was never given much mm -hmm. as a child. I mean, his mother did a lot for him mm -hmm. while his father wasn't around. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, he, he feels very uncomfortable. He feels like he, he, it's because he feels undeserving. Okay. Because the way his father, it all stems back to his childhood. Mm-hmm. And he has a hard time. Um, I mean, we've 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 tried to give him a lot, mm -hmm. and he hasn't taken it. Mm. We even sent a, a guy around who was about to pass away, who offered to give him his will, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't accept it. He just said, basically refused it. Now, when he refuses this, is this a good thing? Or should he re begin receiving? He should start receiving now. Okay. Because these, he, with these, this guy had 50 units. Mm hmm And <laughs> mm -hmm. he just, yeah, he just basically turned it down in a nice way. And it was only because he 
he's not a greedy person he's not a he's very giving mm-hmm. you know especially of himself and he likes pleasing others and mm-hmm. yeah a part of what i was hearing at the beginning of this session was that the powers that are here on this earth love yes. love for us to be grateful for their gifts yes and when someone gives a, gives us a gift shouldn't we just be grateful yes mhm and not turn it away under the guise of spirituality no look you know gifts come in all sorts of ways mm. i think what man kind needs to learn yes it's nice to receive those gifts but it's also nice to receive gifts of a hello mm-hmm. a smile mm-hmm. um helping your neighbor out i mean but in general gifts are not a bad thing mm-hmm. now what should paul be doing with his life ah uh, that's something he's heading towards okay you're not going to tell him no nah. <laughs> it was a spoil it all wouldn't it <laughs> don't want to don't want to hear the trailer do we no no mm. okay it's all part what's going on okay there's quite a few of these souls around the place yes that are not realizing what they're meant to do mm-hmm. and they're searching for answers but they don't realize it will reveal itself in mm-hmm. time mhm now these people who are watching my videos that are waking up they're all looking for their purpose they all want to know what they should be doing with their life is this all going to be one big surprise for everybody it will is this like a big humanity surprise party it will mm. it you could say it's like one big gathering mm. it's going to be amazing Amazing in a good way, I hope. In a great way. Okay. Okay. Without saying too much. Mhm. Well, everybody right now seems to be in fear with all these catastrophes going of on. Of course there is because they're man-made. Mhm. Everything is controlled by this. Mhm. And there as you know, Alba. <laughs> I know you know. It's all a control mechanism to keep people in fear. Mm-hmm. When you f- when you fear, you actually manifest what they want. Okay. And we are manifestors. So keep chill. The chiller you keep and the more happy you are, mm-hmm. the more they hate it. Mm. And that's why they create all these false flags and all these terror attacks. Mm-hmm. It's all part of their game mm-hmm. which went too far. Yes. And now they have to be stopped. Okay. They will be stopped. Okay. Good. And that's the big surprise. In the right time. This is the surprise party we're all waiting for. Yeah. In the right time. Okay. And that's when disclosure will happen. Okay. Not before. All right. It's all part of this agreement. Mhm. Now, will we ever get to meet the Intergalactic Federation of Light? Some of us will. Mhm. The ones that are open to it. Okay. So we It's different ask. for everyone. Mhm. It will if you're in that frequency it's like however you can have 100 people looking at the sky yes and only 30 will see something yes and the others won't mhm it's all part of manifestation what you want mm. it's a very magical place we're in okay and whatever we think about we will bring about mm very good very good Would you talk to Paul about his mother? He loved yeah. her very much. Oh yeah, he suffers today mm-hmm. even even though he tries to pull a brave face. Mhm. Yeah, it was she was part of him and and how did they know each other? Yeah. They spent a, quite a few lifetimes together. Mhm. You could say she was his soulmate. Yes. but also been his mother in a, for quite a few lives really yes and that's why he feels this deep connection with her and every time she goes he's just destroys he actually doesn't want to live any longer mm-hmm. because of that that something that he feels it's missing but he needs to go through it 
-hmm. it's it's just he needs to let her go because for her own growth mm -hmm. because she can still feel his sadness at night when he puts candles yes. around her photo he needs to let go so she's able to move forward because he re has to realize she'll always love him yes but she needs to move on is he keeping her attached to this earth he is mm -hmm. every time he's down she doesn't want to leave him she's she's a very doting mother mm -hmm. and she doesn't want to abandon him yet she needs to move on to, for her evolution mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so can we release her today we can all right well can i connect with her please yes you can thank you so i'm going to count from one to three and when i tap your forehead i'd like to speak with imgard one two and three Good evening, Imgard. Hello. How are you feeling? Feeling wonderful. Wonderful. Now, your son is very sad. How about your transition? Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you tell me one thing? Was it you who spoke to him right after passing? Yes. Mm -hmm. and what were you trying to tell him? That everything's all right, because mm. I knew... I knew he would be worried. Mm -hmm. So he has a he has some questions for you. First of all, about your ring. What should he do with your ring? I'm the one who told him put that idea in his head to take the ring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what would you like to have done with it? Uh, I want him to keep it mm -hmm. and give it to his niece mm -hmm. when. In the time to come. When she's old enough? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not she now. Pushed. She'll lose it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you know how much he loves you? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. He does. I've always known that. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready to be released now? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. So, what would you like to tell Paul before you transition to the light? Just how much I love him. He doesn't realize how much I love him. <coughs> He's still my little boy. <coughs> and I'm proud of him. Uh -huh. He did so much for me and he does so much for everyone else. Uh -huh. I just want him to be happy and know that I am fine and I'm watching over him and he has nothing to worry about because he's got me in his corner. His life is going to be amazing. Wonderful. So take a brief, deep breath in now. Paul, what would you like to tell your mother? Oh, I love you, Mom. I miss you. Tell her everything you need. Oh, uh, Mum, I hope you're not upset that we didn't have a funeral. But I know it wasn't important to you. <laughs> well, let's find out what Mum has to say. Mum, what would you like to say about the fact that there was no funeral? I didn't want you to have a funeral, Paul. I, you know, to me it didn't matter, and I, we didn't need it that night that I passed, and you sat there, the whole family was there for an eight or nine hours, I didn't need more than that, that was everything to me, plus I did leave my body. I wasn't there anyway mm -hmm. in that box. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? I was above mm -hmm. my children, trying to give them strength. Mm -hmm. But um, 
I need to go. Mm-hmm. All right, take a deep breath in, Paul. What would you like to say before she leaves? <sighs> I'm glad you're okay, Mum. I just want you to know you're always in my heart. And I'll always love you. Very good. I love everyone. Thank you. So let's make that light inside of you as big as the sun. And I'd like to ask the angels, the white light, to come and accompany you, Igmart, and take you home. And tell me when you get there. Oh, I'm there. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody there to greet you? Oh, my family, my father, my mother, mm -hmm. my brother. My uncles, oh, God. Mm -hmm. Feels good to come home. It feels... I feel free. Mm. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's take a deep breath in and let me speak now. With the one that I've been speaking with. And can Hello. You, and can you tell me now how everything looks from your end. What do you mean by that, Alma? <laughs> <laughs> How does Igmar look now that she is home? She looks happy. <clears throat> Very good. And what about Paul? Yes, I think this is, this is what he needed. Mm -hmm. Alma, that's why you connected with him. Mm -hmm. When he saw you on the screen by accident. Hmm. That was part of our plan, too. <laughs> Sneaky devils, aren't we? You are all very sneaky. You bring me the people that I need to see. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have a message? Any more messages for, for Paul? Now that we've answered all of his questions. Just I want him to know he's on the right track. Mm -hmm. He needs to start mixing more with people again. Mm-hmm. But just the ones he's met are quite a... F I think he will anyway, because he's met this tribe mm -hmm. that he's meeting now, and he feels very comfortable with, them, with him. Yes. Uh, because he's very outspoken these days. We've helped him with that, mm -hmm. to say what he feels. Yes. A lot of people can't deal with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, he needs to ground himself... Take more care and just chill out. Yeah. That's really the the biggest thing, not to take things so seriously. And when he has jobs to do, he shouldn't make sure he does them all in one go. And there is another day, like, called tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That he, he needs to learn to just chill out, really. Good. Yes, that's, very, that's most of his problem. He doesn't chill out enough. <laughs> <laughs> so spend more time relaxing in nature. Relaxing in nature and just enjoying, able to enjoy, allow himself to enjoy. He feels too guilty to enjoy himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are the same. Just yeah. enjoy this life you're living because it's just, it's just part of it all. Mm -hmm. It is. It's a beautiful life. It is. Mm -hmm. So when Paul listens to this recording... How can you describe who it is that you are that I'm speaking with? How can you describe yourself? Are you his higher self? Are you the watchers? Who are you? You could say I'm a watcher mm -hmm. of sorts. Mm -hmm. But I want to give you my identity out. Mm -hmm. Albert, you can't know everything. <laughs> we can't give you all our secrets. Well, we try, don't we? We do. Mm -hmm. Just know... There's so many of us, and even though a lot of people seem to think mm -hmm. there's only this and there's only that, there's a, it, it is bigger, mm -hmm. bigger than you could ever imagine. Hmm. So we should be more, more in awe than we are? Yes, we should. Mm -hmm. And the more awe we are in, mm -hmm. the more capabilities we'll be able to do. <laughs> I'm going to be Wonder Woman pretty soon. You already are, Albie. You just don't realize it yet. It's time you buy that Wonder Woman suit. Oh, my. 
need to get back in shape. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything else that you would like to tell him or anybody else? I think he knows deep down mm -hmm. the direction he needs to go. Mm -hmm. And I think he's going to be fine. And everything will be uh, revealed to him in time. Because it's all a process. Mm -hmm. It's like anything. It's like... Growing a tooth, it takes time. It's not going to be there in one second. Mm -hmm. And that's what he needs to learn, just to stay patient, which he has been. Yes. We're trying to teach him patience, because that's one thing the human race has a hard time with, hmm. is patience. Very good. Are we complete today? We are complete, Alba. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you so much for what you're doing. Uh -huh. You're making our job a little bit easier. <laughs> Thank you. Throw some, some healing my way, please. Definitely. It's on its way. Thank you. You've been crying. I've been coughing. Far out. How do you feel? I feel... Whoa. How fantastic. can you say? I do feel fantastic. I feel a lot. A big weight has left my shoulders. Wow. Well, let me give you these stones and replace those. These are grounding stones, so I'll give you the shungite to hold. That's very surreal. Mm -hmm. So what do you it think about this It doesn't seem real. It's, it's different. I was... I could have gone deeper at one stage mm -hmm. when I was in that mm -hmm. forest situation, but yeah. something was stopping me. It was like a... didn't want me to go. Yeah. didn't want to talk about... Not something. You know what I mean? Yeah. How was my coughing affecting you? Ah, oh, yeah, in the beginning it was, it was, was really bad. I thought we might have to stop. No, I, I was I sort was... of, that's where I was losing myself. It was yeah. like some, something entity trying to stop yeah. me from revealing too yeah. much to myself. Well, I was gagging. I thought I was going to die. Well, I thought so too, because yeah. I had that same cough once. <laughs> and yeah. you know when it was, when I had a, when I had a date, my first date, mm. and we're talking, having a conversation, I'm coughing for an hour. <laughs> Couldn't get a I, word out. <laughs> I yes. could not. I couldn't even breathe at the beginning. Yeah, you I, need, you I need. was gasping for air. But I said, "Mate, hey, we're going to continue here because this is very important. What's going on here?" So it didn't stop me. Well, I, I was going to say you want to cancel and I'll meet no. you in Miami. You know? Oh, no, well, I, you did I, fantastic. Did I? I wasn't sure if I did or not. Oh uh, my God! I, what are you kidding? Yeah, I wasn't. God, when my mother come through, that was just like. Isn't that amazing? How weird is that? Mm -hmm. I think that's what I was mainly here for. Oh, yeah. For that. For that. Yeah. And, you needed to detach. And that assurance that uh, what I'm doing is right because yeah. I've been second-guessing everything. You you did really fantastic. And, and, and the, what's really more amazing than that... What's that? Is that just last week... Was it last week? No, it must have been a week and a half ago. I had another session with the intergalactic was it similar federation of light same it was it was the same yeah i heard him talking but he didn't want to give away too much no he kept going around the the yeah i could yeah. feel what he wanted to say but Wouldn't but he didn't it. reveal it no yeah. he was going around circles he wasn't answering your questions oh no, because it's like it's not supposed to be revealed this yes is, this is one big reveal yes it's almost like they've all been put into this uh this, this, I was like, this, this, come on, man. This cone of secrets. <laughs> I was like, come on, man, give us the scoop. No, they wouldn't. You know what I mean? He wouldn't. Won't. He was going around. It was like I could, I, you know how you said it's, it's, it's coming through you? Yeah. And he was hesitating. Yeah. And I'm going, and I didn't know the answers. <laughs> no. And I'm going, well, answer her. <laughs> no. Uh. No. They have a, they have a code of, of ethics. Yeah. That they're not allowed to reveal certain wow. things because what they reveal will change wow. um, things. But oh I feel God. so relaxed. It was fantastic. You got all your your answers. Wow. You feel pretty good? I feel good. How's your back feel? Good. Your neck, everything? All yeah, your I, feel, I feel good. Fantastic. So is this something you want to share? Yeah, if you want. If there's some parts, I didn't know if it was interesting enough, but... I yeah. thought it was great. It talked about... The, the, the earth, the, the, the different type of earth. The but there was something earth. stopping. Yeah, there was something that was weird. Because yeah, yeah. there was more I wanted to say, but it was saying it was like nature or source. You were, you were, what did you see yourself as? Part of nature, right? Yes, I was just like hovering yeah. around, observing it all. Mm -hmm. 
Like you were part of the Intergalactic Federation of Light, it almost seems. Yes. It's like... Um, what we would call nature, what we would call... It's almost like this is the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like I was observing things, but it was while I was there, it was very saddening. It was very... There was yeah. too much going on to actually comprehend it all. Yeah. There was so much I wanted... It, I just couldn't mm -hmm. articulate it all. But do you feel that perhaps you were one of these watchers? Maybe. That we're speaking today? Yeah. That could be. That could be. That help us. That, yes. You know? Yes. They're part of our... Yeah. Uh, that was great. Oh, my God. This was like a dream session. It was really? fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was amazing. So, yeah, it was. And the whole world has now heard me coughing my lungs out. Mm. What a session. Oh, what a great session, though. I know. It was amazing. It's amazing. I'm That's thinking cool. here, I'm dying, and I'm going, oh, what a fantastic <laughs> session this is. So tell me your experience. Why, why are you here, first of all? I don't know. I just felt a calling. Like yeah. I said, I saw you on YouTube. Yeah. And I just felt someone called me to you. Uh-huh. What can I say? So right now we're in Brisbane, Australia. I'm on the opposite end of the world from where Hi, I live. Hi, everybody. And uh, so tell everybody how it felt. How did it feel to be in hypnosis? You, I, I guess words could not express how amazing it is. You actually have to come and see Alba yourself. It's the only way I can put it. Yeah. It's the only way. Did you think you could be hypnotized? No. So now? Yes. <laughs> I thought, seriously, I thought I'd be the hardest person to, to hypnotize. It was like that. She is. She's amazing. It's <laughs> over for you. So great. now that you've been through this, how do you feel? I feel amazing. Yeah? I feel, seriously, for all the skeptics or whatever, I feel this is real. Yeah. This is something like, you can't even explain. Mm. It's something within. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, so that's all I can What's say. What's the best part of it? <sighs> the best part of it? Everything. Mm. There is no better or worse yeah, yeah. Or the whole experience was the good. whole experience is, is just yeah it's just that's amazing, amazing. yeah i'm sort of uh yeah tongue-tied so if you would like a session with me all you have to do is go to my website albaweinman.com and uh i am booked way out into the future but i do travel as you can see i'm all over and you can just go to my out of town page on my website get on my mailing list and when you hear that i'm coming near you sign up for for that and uh how long how did that happen with you how did what happen how did you hear about me were you on the mailing list uh no i no. I, I i just went on youtube i told by accident Isn't that something? you were on there and i started watching her and i and then you got on my website and that was it I became your biggest fan and <laughs> i had to see you so it was like a flight to miami but luckily you came to australia that's right that's right so i could be coming to a city near you so i hope you enjoy this video as much as i did uh hopefully the other ones will be a little quieter for me and um I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching and bye. until the next time. Bye. Give me that hug that I love so go. much. Thank you. Mm.